videos you make within LumaFusion are unique to you. The style, the subject, the branding is all your creation every time you sit down to edit. So why not make your LumaFusion experience as personalized as you can? Creating and saving your own video assets is a fantastic start because you'll ensure you have everything you need to hand in the same place every single time you make a video. I'm talking here about your go-to assets like watermarks, logos, fonts, lower thirds, PNG overlays, and even opening titles that you use time and time again. Rather than relying on copying and pasting between timelines, or even scrolling through album upon album for the right file each time, it really is worth taking an hour or so to collate everything you need in one place. For example, you can see here that I'm using Dropbox Replay to store the files I need for these tutorials. Things like logos, PNG images, and even moving arrows are all easy to hand. It saves me a ton of time and stress when it comes to editing, meaning I have more energy to focus on the creative elements of each video, which we all know is the fun part. So while you're here with us, please take the time to grab a sheet of paper and think about the videos you make on the regular. What assets do you find yourself using time and time again? Pause this video and take three minutes or so to jot these down. When you're happy, come back to me here and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks I've picked up along the way. Okay, nice job guys. So now you have your list of assets that you use within your editing all the time. Now, of course, you can add to these as you go, but let's start collating them. So my advice is to firstly grab as many of the image or video files on that list of yours and place them within a folder using subfolders or sub albums if required. You can do this on your device, cloud storage or an external hard drive, whichever is going to be with you while you're editing. Be really specific with this and label them clearly. You might have albums for different video series or simply albums for different assets. That's entirely up to you and whatever makes sense for the projects and the way you edit. After you've done that, I want you to tick off some of the items on your list that aren't a video or image file. You might have written down an opening title, for example. In this case, you'll need to make this within LumaFusion's title editor, maybe using multiple layers, adding transitions in there to make it really animated. And then you're gonna do one of two things. If, for example, your opening title isn't going to change each time, you can just export it as a video and add it to your album of assets, ready to be brought into each episode you do. Remember here that if you have a title that you want to save with no background, you need to export it with the codec HEVC with transparency so it will look great layered on different clips. However, if you want your title to change each time you edit, like the wording on this Aston bar for example, simply save it as a title preset in the title editor so it appears on your list of user titles for when you need to use it and alter depending on your video. Now separate from a title preset, the design within your videos is also personalised to you. Your font style, size, colours, borders and shadows can be saved as a title style. Make use of this feature to lock in the branding of your text and shapes. So for example, let's say I always make videos for a company with green and orange branding. I can make a title layer to reflect the size, font and colours of that brand and then tap the title style icon to save this as a style preset. Now, when I add another title, be it text or a shape, I can whip that branding up in a matter of seconds. Another thing that I always see on people's asset lists are PNG images. Other than your watermark or logo, which is the obvious use for them, you can use transparent PNG images to create some really creative effects within your videos. For example, you could have a device overlay if you're doing tutorials like me, or maybe graphics that give your audience a call to action. Or you can even have small characters that make an appearance from time to time. If so, and whatever you need them for, make sure you add these to your folder of assets. If you don't know how to make them, there are tons of apps out there that enable you to easily make a PNG image in a matter of seconds. So create these ahead of time, and when you need them, you'll be one step ahead. So guys, grab that list and get organized. Trust me, you'll thank me later. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below and we'll get right back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Oh,